Let's see what the most I have to say. Messages. I was asleep, y'all. I was asleep. So something's coming in about a King of Cups and a Capricorn with the Five of Swords. Someone's mind and emotions are being corrupt, corrupted. are manipulated for ill will, selfish gain. Manipulation is at play. Fast movement within the brain. Brain cells fried. Somebody's fooling around with fate, will of fortune, the empress, king of pentacles, four of pentacles. Somebody's having a whirlwind or a fast movement around loss, defeat, or upheaval. Something around management. Somebody's dealing with shady managers or upper management. Okay, so somebody's getting ahead of themselves, feeling like something is uh, a lost cause. Okay, so this message here for somebody who feels like they're being defeated by the devil. Or that their, their fate or their destiny is being stolen. Like somebody's fighting for their rights or fighting for their fate, their destiny, their purpose, yeah, their spirituality. Somebody's holding back, taking a risk because they feel like as soon as they step out on faith that everything will be taken away. So somebody's moving out of a scarcity mindset. Or out of fear of losing everything they have. Okay. So if you already feel like you don't have much. Or you're holding on to the little bit you do have. That may be blocking and stopping what the divine is wanting to bring in. Or this may be in fact what the devil wants you to do. Is be, you know, to be scarce or feel afraid. To step out there, to have courage, to use discernment and the wisdom God gave you. The devil wins when you sit back and you do nothing. As long as you're moving forward, having faith, being diligent and faithful to your path, you can never go wrong. Yeah, because the end result is the empress. So there you are on a journey or a pathway to the empress or empress status. But there are some obstacles that may be being placed in your way by your shadow or by your fear of failure. Okay, so clarify the devil. 
and vice. Uh huh, nine of cups. So, some of you guys may feel like your happiness or your wish fulfillment have been placed in the wrong hands, or you've placed them in the wrong hands. Uh, some of you guys may be dealing with someone, uh, dealing with their emotions within a bottle. Or this is you. Um, the devil could be playing on your fears or your wishes. Some of you may be fighting against detox or sobriety. Nine of Cups. Something about pain. Something about anguish. Six of Cups. Uh huh. So. I was thinking that too. The devil uses old tricks, and it's nothing new under under the sun when you're dealing with the devil. So, um, if you are constantly dealing with things coming up from your past, or having the urge to do things that you used to do in the past, it's nothing but the devil attempting to get you to go backwards. When your discernment, your intuition, and your emotions are steering you forward here with the King of Cups. So this is having um, this is this is having more courage with within your heart space with the King of Cups. For some reason, I feel like you need to deal with this as it pertains to heart over mind or heart over matter, rather than mind over heart, because the devil is not tapped into the heart space. So that may be the way to defeat the devil. Mm -hmm. Judgment, death card, three of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Okay, yeah, so I just heard something about a shortcut. You came a long way. You came a long way. Why is the Five of Swords here? It's like almost as if somebody wants to embarrass you. You have a tower, Six of Swords. Yes, yeah, like the most, the most high has been waving red flags left and right. To not go towards something or to not go towards someone. I'm picking up on a booby trap. I'm also picking up on the inevitable. If you look back, there's no looking back. Something may um, happen suddenly or instantly, a tragedy, a uh, tragedy, tragedy. Tremosity. Why am I hearing tremosity? Something about it to, to um, the cast, what is that word? The catastrophe? Mm -hmm. It's almost like a warning sign here. Some of you guys are being guided not to deal with a certain group of people anymore. King of Cups. Something about a safe house. A trap house. Something's getting raided. Okay. Strength, Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups, the Sun. Yeah. Double Leo energy. Joy, serendipity. A new wave, a new way. 
exposure, happiness, opportunities towards passionate endeavors, an opportunity to experience a romantic offer. Yes, six of wands, five of coins. Judgment. Yeah, now I'm here in wrong place, wrong time. So if you're in a situation where you're dealing with people who um, are from your past, that are doing things that you used to do and they're still indulging in those things. If you um, are still hanging out with this, these people, even if you're not doing the things that they're doing anymore, but you're still in the environment, you may get caught up, okay, in some shit. All right, I just heard fatal attraction. And then now I'm, I'm like, you could be off living a whole new life in a whole new world while, you know, And then you're going to get a call or you're going to hear about something happening instead of being there when it happens. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Swords. So there is a meetup or a gathering happening here outside of you. Well, depending on the path you take or depending on how you let the enemy come in, and persuade you you may uh yeah i feel like a lot of you guys are going with the most high or this is what you're being guided to do with the hairy font there's something that you could be diligent in or dedicated to or you feel like you have to save I'm hearing old oh, buddy, old oh, pal. The hairy font. Yeah, six of coins. Reciprocity from the most high. Devotion. Donations, charity, good deed. So your good deed isn't going unpunished or something like that. The Most High wants you to know this is not, you know, your battle to fight. This is not something you need to worry about. And to keep moving forward towards your destiny, will of fortune. Mm-hmm. There's anxiety around your, your destiny here. It's like you're apologetic. You're apologetic for your abundance. Page of Cups. Temperance. Bring peace and balance into the situation here. We have 1014. Libra Energy. Sagittarius with the Temperance. You can have these in your chart. If some of you guys are afraid of leaving a certain person behind or individuals behind, you will be um, reunited. There will be a reconciliation. But right now, separation is needed uh, for mental health and mental clarity here. Empress. Yeah. Ace of coins. Ace of cups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep moving. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Yeah. Opportunities coming in by the boatload. You got the ace of wands, ace of pentacles, ace of cups. And they're all in alignment here. Some of you guys... Uh, Need to protect an unborn child. You could be pregnant or being um, impregnated. 
you could have just had a child thinking about a family going into a situation where you know your life is shifting okay very quickly yeah ten of pentacles wow king of wands ten of cups a major shift is happening 